Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Journal with Tanushk. I'm back with another video for you guys which is based on June bullet journaling. Make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video and consider subscribing to my channel if you love what I made in this video and also ring the notification bell to stay notified as to when I post my new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also comment what you would like to see in one of my next videos. Well, today's video is based on June bullet journaling and the theme which I've selected for this month is watermelons as it is quite a summery doodle at the same time makes the month feel very fresh and it's also quite a lot different from all my other monthly spreads like the May and April and everything was so different from what I selected this time and if you guys haven't watched my main bullet journal spread video then I will leave a link in the description box below so you can have a look at it. If you guys would like me to swatch my entire stationery collection in one of my next videos, then make sure to get this video as many likes as possible. The font that I've chosen for this month is Elegant Calligraphy and I really like the look of it as to how it turned out with the watermelons. If you guys are curious to know as to what supplies I've used, I'll leave a link in the description box below so that you guys can also have a look at them. Well, I've technically used a collection of both, I mean, triple things that are a brush marker, the fine liners, and then the markers, the sketch pins, and many things I've used in this throughout this video. So if you guys are curious, then I will leave a link in the description box. Well, my second front monthly spread page was a little different from my all other spreads because it's been a long time I've been following the same spread again and again and it now feels like a zombie just copying the same thing again and again. So I technically switched to this new spread with a calendar in the front page so I can mark all the important like schedules ahead and everything in this itself, any birthdays or any important things I have to do. It's a good idea. I recommend you guys doing this too. And if you guys are already doing this, then it's absolutely fine and also great. Because it's like, why didn't I get this idea before? So I really like the look after all. And it came out really perfect. Not exactly perfect, but it satisfied what it, it exactly gave me what I wanted. And it looked perfect. I hope you guys liked it too. Then I even made these self-made washi tapes like a doodle and that made uh, that actually went along with the, the watermelon spread that I made and that's what I was going for the doodle theme completely and the washi tapes in doodle form looks really good along with the watermelons so I like the look at the last then comes my monthly planner page and it was again elegant calligraphy and then a small doodle of watermelon below it then i really improved on my straight line drawing like i really worked on it and i got it right this time so i was really happy i fast forward this a lot because it takes a lot of time too when you know that you have to bullet journal and then you have to draw these lines free handed and it takes a lot of time but I really improved at last. And by the way, guys, thank you so much for the 205 subscribers I have right now. It means so much to me. Thank you so much. That's all I can say. So I actually messed up my little look, the days I had to write in, but it's fine, I later on changed it and it looked the no as normal as it would if I didn't even make a mistake, so it was fine. Then using my brush pens, I again made all of these watermelons. I tried keeping the page as simple as possible because I didn't want it to make I mean it didn't I didn't want it to look too much bold at the same time because if it looks too much bold then my other like monthly spreads get a little down and 
even this one it's like a very subtle and fresh look not like too bold like my other may doodles and stuff it was too bold it was not like this joan bolle journal spread like a very fresh and a subtle spread when i also added a few drop shadows this is like my third or fourth time i'm trying to add drop shadows in my spreads it's not what i do usually and then my mood tracker and habit tracker i invented my own habit tracker for this time i hope you guys liked it and even i liked it too it was a innovation that i tried i hope it worked for you guys actually i made these little watermelon doodles in which i'll write the dates i made as june as 30 days so 15 went to the green and 15 watermelon doodles went to the red and it looks really good those paper clips that you see right there are my self designed paper clips and then comes the happy tracker it's a little different i did not actually research as to many people have even tried this or not but i think this is my first time trying this at least then this pen ran out of ink so i had to use another one so as you see in those i write my 30 days in which one row obtains 10 days so like three rows and then 10 in each it went like that then i even wrote this little phrase in, in the bottom of the spread saying but first watermelon and i really like those three little drops of red color i added there it looked really good it was a beautiful header i think i should have added it in one of my I have a video saying bullet journal headers. I think I should have added it before there. So the dates and then that's the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Then my journal goals was really creative this time. It was not like a very normal goals spread that I make. It was like very what do we say like a very creative spread I say. It was a little difficult to make. to get those watermelon exactly like in the place as you see that speed it's actually i even like tried to make it in that speed at one point you see i even like run cuz i tried making it like in that speed so it went a little clumsy at fun this month is like i don't know what to say to this month it's already like it's almost june at the same time plus june is like a very it's i'm stuck at june cuz it's even a very busy month for me at the same time it's like i don't have many things to do so i don't know which point to make this bullet journal spread it cuz it's even busy at the same time there are many days which i'm free and stuff so i had to decide at a point I had to negotiate at a point and then draw this whole spread because I couldn't either make too many pages of the spreads nor could I make too much like less pages so I had to go in a very straight mediocre line. The brain dump with elegant calligraphy looked awesome. That's all I can say to my brain dump spread this time. It looked very simple but it looked really good as of simple. then i even wrote this little quote saying when one has tasted watermelon he knows what the angels eat and that's you know quite a lot true that's even written in the description of my video cuz this quote made a lot of sense cuz i don't know if you are a fan of watermelon or not but i am the biggest fan of watermelons when it comes to summer anyways we get watermelons only in summer and it's only a summer fruit so if i make sense It's a very good fruit for me at least. Don't know about others but I love watermelon. Plus the colors that I've chosen for the watermelon this month was not exactly the red and the green. It was a little different. It went towards a little you know like gray colors I chose. 
and then finally comes the weekly spread just was perfect and a very bold little spread that i made with many watermelons and stuff it was completely like a beautiful page with a complete color tsunami that landed here i think i really know how to describe things i i made a little mistake so i made it into a drop shadow i think i should also make a video on how to correct your bullet journal mistakes oh but that's a good idea i can then this green because i went to red and watermelons not only red it's even green indeed it's only green from the outside not red i think watermelon can be described as both outer and inner beauty does that make sense Wait, maybe I know why is this all happening to me. It's the quarantine. <laughs> okay, so the spread is going really good. The flip through is awesome. I hope you guys liked my theme. Then I made a little mistake again. I had to add drop shadow. That's a good idea. You can, you know, correct your mistakes with that in drop shadow when you don't get straight lines. Isn't it? <laughs> Now comes coloring the watermelons which is the most satisfying part. So I just did not make watermelons over here as you will see in just like 2 seconds. Yeah, I also made it there. So at last I would like to speak about this channel which is Braveheart. If you're out there then hello Braveheart sketches. So um, I really like his channel and I recommend you guys also subscribe to his channel. My next video he recommended me to draw manja faces and like draw manja stuff. So I'm going to make a video about what he told like I always tell you guys to tell me what to draw in one of my next videos. So Braveheart sketches you win this time and my next video is based on your idea. So Make sure to watch my next video.